Hi, welcome back. This is Eating Sharp with Lynn Sharp, and again today, it's all about the lemon. And what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to combine two of my favorite desserts into one, the lemon pie and cheesecake. First, you'll want to get about uh, 15 graham cracker squares. They come like this, there's nine in a package. You'll need about 15. I put them into a uh, sealed Ziploc bag so that I can um, use the rolling pin to uh, crush them down. It's a lot easier. Now, when I was growing up, would put it out underneath the car and run over it with the car. My mother would do that to make her crust. So while I get the crust ready, take a break and we'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. Now, I've got the graham crackers finely um, squished up or, or uh, chopped up. You can um, use your food processor if you don't want to use the rolling pin. Now, what I do is I add to this bag about three tablespoons of melted butter. You can use non-salted butter or salted sweet butter. It doesn't really matter. Um, go ahead and let the air out of this bag. And I use the bag to, as my mixing bowl because I can save it in this bag in the refrigerator or uh, in the freezer or just out at room temperature. And it'll last for a few days um, out at room temperature. It'll last longer in the fridge. So you want to mix this all up. Now the cheesecake really originated in ancient Greece and it wasn't until um, Romans took over uh, or conquered Greece that the Romans adapted it into their culture. And it didn't get to the Americas um, until a dairyman was able to produce the same equivalent of the cream cheese back in 1872. And he was in New York, hence the New York cheesecake is what I believe. So after that's well mixed, it's kind of moist and crumbly, you want to add that into your pan, your spring form pan. And what I do is I use a spoon to push it down evenly all around in the pan. And you'll want to also bring it up on the sides, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So take a break, get you something to drink like some fresh lemonade that I showed you how to make in my other videos, and we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I've got the edges done here, but I want to show you just a little bit of how to do that. So let me pull this around and show you. This edge is not done. What you want to do is just put your spoon right against the side and press it into the spring form pan. Just like this, going around, and then you'll want to press the bottom to make sure you get a nice seal around the bottom of that spring form pan. Okay? So we'll set this aside. Now, before I do the cheesecake filling, I want to do the topping because I want to have that ready to go right when I pour the cheesecake mixture in so it can go right into the oven. So if you remember in my last video about the whole lemon, lemon pie, you're going to take a lemon and you, like I did in that video, I cut off the ends because I didn't want that extra pulp into the lemon pie. Then you'll want to quarter your lemon, like so, and then you'll want to cut it into about a quarter inch slices. Now while I do that, take a break and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. I've got the lemon already diced up and into my blender. To that, we want to add a half a stick, or excuse me, a whole stick of butter. It's about a half a cup of butter. You want to uh, melt that just a little bit, but you don't want it to be um, extremely hot because you don't want it to cook the eggs. Now, my last pie recipe was a cup and a half of sugar. This is only a cup and a quarter because we don't want to over -sweeten, uh, sweeten, sweeten it because of the um, cheesecake underneath. And we have a tablespoon of cornstarch. Now, we're going to go ahead and blend this up. And while I blend this up, take a break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Now I've got the lemons um, in the blender and they've been blending for a couple of minutes now. Now you want to add your eggs one at a time to make sure they're well blended. So there's three eggs, by the way. There's one, two, Just let this blend for a couple of minutes, not very long, just needs to get incorporated in. Now, it has been said that food um, historians have discovered that 
um, lemon flavored custards, puddings, and pies dates back to the medieval times. And it wasn't until the 17th, excuse me, the 19th century that we have what we have known today is the lemon meringue pie. So let me get things set up for the cheesecake filling and we'll be right back. So take a break. All right, welcome back. I've got everything set up for the cheesecake. I have two eight ounce packages of cream cheese that I put into my bowl. Add To add to that, I'm gonna add three fourths of a can of sweetened condensed milk. Now, don't worry, excuse me, not three fourths, two thirds of a can, excuse me on that, two thirds of a can of sweetened condensed milk. Now, don't worry about um, what you're gonna use that with. Just hold that back in the fridge. It will last for a few weeks um, covered up in your fridge. And I'll get to another recipe that we'll use that up. We're going to add four eggs to this. And we're going to add a tablespoon of vanilla. Now you'll want to blend this really well. You want everything blended. Uh, the eggs have to be blended really well, incorporated into the cream cheese. You want your cream cheese to be nice and smooth, no big chunks. Now, some people ask me, why do I use the sweet condensed milk? Well, I use it for a couple of reasons. One of the biggest reasons why I use the sweet condensed milk is that it makes it a very rich and creamy product at the end. And another reason why I use the sweet condensed milk is it doesn't make it grain, uh, grainy at the bottom. All your sugar doesn't sink to the bottom of your pie. Next, you'll want to add about two to three tablespoons of flour. What this is going to do is it's going to help um, coagulate and thicken up the um, cream cheese so that um, it will it will just come out so cakey and moist and looking wonderful. Okay? So we'll blend that in as well. Now we're going to pour this right into our bowl or not our bowl, excuse me, right into our pie crust, or our crust. I'm thinking pie because I have the lemon to go on top as well. And what you want to do is you want to put this in the oven at 350. So before you start your cheesecake, make sure that you get your oven ready. You want to put it in for about 15 minutes because what that's going to do is it's going to stiffen up your cheesecake on top so that you can add your lemon topping and put it back in the oven and bake it. So for 15 minutes at 350, that's where your cheesecake is going to go. So let's put this right in the oven, right in your middle rack. Oven set at 350. We're going to let that go about 15 to 20 minutes, just depending on how it looks on top. To, to be able to support the liquid of the uh, lemon uh, pie part, okay? So take a break, we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. It's been about 15, almost 17 minutes that the cheesecake's been in the oven. So we're gonna pull it out and I wanna show you how it looks like, how that top feels so that we can pour this in. Sorry, I needed a spoon as well. So let's pull this out of the oven. You can see that it is just starting to act like a custard. It's just got a tiny little film on it, but it's still a little liquidy underneath. But it's firm as well. So we're going to take our topping, which is the lemon pie. Let me see if I can do this so you can see it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it right on to my um, spatula. That way, it is not going to make a big hole into the cheesecake. And I'm going to go all the way around so that it evenly goes onto the cheesecake and not down inside the cheesecake. And you just fill this all the way around, like so, until you get it all on there. And this is also going to help weigh down the cheesecake so it won't come up and over your pan. So we'll scrape out some of the goodness in there and now it's going to go back into your oven for an additional hour. I'm changing the recipe as I go because that's how you work in the kitchen. So let's put it back in the oven. It's going to go in there for another hour 
at 350. There it is, right on the shelf. Had to be very careful because the top is a little liquidy. And we'll see you back here in about an hour when that cheese lemon cheesecake is ready to pull out of the oven. So we'll see you right back. Welcome back. It's been about an hour, so let's check our cheesecake. Oh, it looks really, really good. Look at this. It is golden brown on top, just like the lemon pie. Let's get, get that out of there. You want to make sure that it could take a little bit less than an hour, maybe 50 minutes. See, the tester came out dry, so we're pulling it out of the oven now. So you want to let this sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then you want to shove it into your cooler for uh, at least a good three to four hours or at least overnight. So this will deflate a little bit. Um, that's the way cheesecakes act. So don't freak out when you, when you come back and it has deflated some. That's, that's what cheesecakes do. So until next time, this is Lynn Sharp with Eating Sharp and Eat Healthy. Bye-bye.